is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about scream 7 in this video here today and like well i guess i should say the scream franchise in its future after scream 7 uh now this reported information is coming from daniel rpk who is claiming in a new post that they shared over on patreon that the idea of post scream 7 is to spread the franchise making not just more sequels but a spin-off and a new tv show now before i go any further we know as of now the current plans are to circle back to sydney prescott and like i've stated reportedly rumored they are going to continue that split story that was planned for the original seven but instead of sam and friends it'll be sydney's babysitter allegedly and the babysitter's alleged friends we're still waiting to see if any of that will end up being true but we know 100% that Sidney Prescott will be back, Nev Campbell's back as the best final girl ever. And Kevin Williamson will be tapped to direct with Guy Busick writing the screenplay alone. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to post Scream 7 and them doing new movies doing or doing more movies and doing new sequels or whatever, that's not really new because if you guys remember spyglass or producers i should say producers involved with the screen franchise had an article out around march of last year from indiewire and it was literally titled how they have plans to keep ghostface around forever now obviously forever is just hyperbole <laughs> all good things do indeed come to an end at some point but we've known that they wanted to milk this ip i think that article just kind of came and went and wasn't made a big deal of as I don't think this report will be made a big deal of until we have some actual concrete things coming out from Spyglass and those who own the rights to things like the TV show, which I believe is Paramount since MTV is under the Paramount banner. VH1 included since season three, I think aired on VH1. Until we have anything concrete, none of this, of course, to confirm. I think that if they were to do a new TV show, it could work. There are things that I have heard about this new TV show that indicates what could come of the show if they still indeed intend to do one so what i have heard about a show this was something i caught wind of back in february from a few reputable people ironically enough one of them ended up coming to me in march shout out to you salem alexandria uh, and a few others who had told me this prior to march when salem told me I just didn't talk about it. But what I had heard related to a TV show is that Paramount, not Paramount, but the plan at least for a TV show would have been to have done a limited series with Hayden Panettiere possibly as a regular in an FBI role with returning stars like Gail, Tara, maybe Sydney popping in. And it was going to be centered on a cult of sorts, if you will. Now, nothing, of course, came out to confirm any of that, but we're starting to possibly get there with Daniel now claiming to have heard things about a TV show as well. That does not mean that the TV show again will be what I am saying I heard it will be. None of that is confirmed. There is no TV show that has been formally announced just yet. The TV show that we get, though, the biggest takeaway from that is that the TV show could finally be something that is associated with the actual films and not just something that is a homage to the films without being connected to them, if you will. Uh, so I don't see us seeing any returning characters from the VH1 third season, anything to do with the Lakewood stuff. I think what the game plan will still be going off of that rumor I heard is that they will do a TV show. If they do one, it'll be in the vein of keeping it in canon as a sequel of sorts or at least a part of the franchise lore, not disconnected from it like the TV show we already know we have. And Hayden getting her own show, I wouldn't see a problem with that. Now, when it comes to the idea of a spinoff, you have to keep in mind, you can do a spinoff in a plethora of different ways. If you give Hayden her own show, do a show on Kirby Reed as an FBI agent, you don't really need to have Ghostface in every episode, every season. Granted, that's what people would love to see, but you don't have to have Ghostface around. The fact that it's a character from the Scream franchise will be enough for it to be considered a spinoff. And if it's just a show centered on the life of Kirby Reed as an FBI agent, some people will eat it up, some people won't eat it up. That's just going to be how that cookie crumbles. Similar to how you can do spinoff shows that are connected to the Ghostface lore from the franchise and do like these limited shows about Ghostface attacks in random areas inspired by the Stab franchise or something. I don't know. 
But I get why people wouldn't even want to see this. I'm not even myself a big fan of this idea, oversaturating everything. But at the end of the day, you have to remember it's all about the money. And money is coming in for this IP. We made sure of that when we went to go see 5 and 6. Yes, there's circumstances that are going to lead people to not go see 7 in theaters. That's all good. That's all understandable. I myself am not going to go see 7 multiple times after my one freebie. However... We still made it profitable to Spyglass and those who, again, have a hand in the rights outside of Spyglass when we showed up and showed out for five and six. So it's not surprising that they want to keep Ghostface around forever because to them, it's all about money. Now, I would hope that Sidney Prescott is not a part of these spinoffs. If it's not d directly related to anything with these movies, I do not want to see Sidney Prescott for the receive foreseeable future like this i just don't gail weathers either we we need new characters that people can sink their teeth into and feel confident enough to carry the franchise i can respect that some of you didn't think that sam carpenter was the right person for that however that does not mean that because you it did not work for sam for you that the next thing they should do creatively is to just circle back no 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 i need somebody who is capable of saying okay while it didn't work for this new character we can still make up another new character and see if that works stop bringing back the old characters let these characters have a happy ending right off into the sunset keep bringing ghostface back because that again is the face of this franchise at this point and tell fresh stories get some competent writers who can keep the thing alive without relying so much on the past that's what i think you should be doing granted the other thing I think you should be doing is letting this franchise rest. But like I stated, you have to consider the money aspect of it. Scream is still a very profitable IP. It's going to stick around as long as we make sure it sticks around and makes money. So that's why I say you don't want this. Don't show up for Scream 7. Do not show up. That doesn't mean that the TV show won't still happen because if it's limited, maybe it's a one and done. That's like a follow up to whatever happens in 7. You'll just have to wait and see. I would imagine also that the sequels that they're talking about, if any of it is true, are just going to be connected to what happens in seven. And it'll still be Sidney Prescott, maybe taking the Halloween trilogy approach. And it's all set very close together, which I think would be the best thing to do in this scenario, since you want to interrupt Sidney Prescott, Sidney Prescott's piece one last time. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about that idea of a Hayden Panettiere, Kirby Reed centric show in which it's just her as an FBI agent? What do you think about the idea of other spinoffs and sequels? Do you want those? Do you think it's time for this franchise to take a dirt nap for the foreseeable future? Let me know all that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Your name is video in the description. I have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there and let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.